unboxing the crate a bit and showing you guys about the GTX 250, how it gets assembled. As you can see, we've already started the process that comes in a crate like this, about most of the stuff assembled. Now, one thing with assembling, you need to have different socket size for your drill, so that way uh, you'll be able to like unbox it. So what size, uh, what's that one, the socket? Uh, yeah, so that was size 10 for the interior bolts on the crate. So as you can see, that's how you took it off. So you need to just have that, or even a simple wrench works if you don't have any, uh, don't have an actual drill. And it comes bubble wraps, as you can see, taking that off real quick. All right, let's look at a close up. So we have this small little bar we have to take out. And what size socket was that? Uh, six. Six, so that's number, number six. six. These are all metric socket, right? Yeah, so metric. We have these packets for the screws that come along the handlebars. The same, so size number six that goes on the handlebars. Right? So you just use that, about to put it in. Just look at how it does. That you do need a drill, guys. You need to have simple tools. That part. This one's the same size, the size six. Sturdy. You want to make sure it's tight. It's really important. And you got to be careful on uh, how you torque these things. You don't want to like over torque it and strip any of the threads. You got to do it very precisely. But like I said, it's not very difficult at all. So, just some metal wire cutters and some, you know, like zip ties that you got to cut remove some plastics off of the machine now here at the store we use the forklift you guys might not have that convenience at home but I mean you could like try to do different things you could like maybe strap the handlebars and maybe strap it down to something to a height and just like that but we use the forklift down here Now you gotta remove these bolts. 22. The size 22, guys. So that's the long bolt that's holding the front forks with the crate. You gotta remove that. Boom, off the crate it goes. Now the reason he does that is because uh, so that way it's very easy to easy to uh, put the front tire in. Then there goes the crate. It's coming out beautiful. This is a really beautiful looking bike. It's especially love the front lights, these projector style beams in the floor mass.
Alright, so here's something you might need help with. To grab onto that bike right there as he's put it that part on. So that is for the so that way your back end frame is connected fully. And then you can like put the rear shock bolt in it place. There you go. That was size 22? 14 and 17. Okay, 14 and 17 guys. So 14 in the front this way. So that is the part that's left side of the vehicle. 14 and then the right side was 17. There you go. Perfect. So left 14, right 17. Right, 17. Perfect. Thank you. That's very good to know. So yeah, that's the part where you might need help with someone to just grab onto the bike so that way you can easily put it on. It's not bad. It's coming out pretty good. We're about 10 minutes in and almost, almost done with the bike, guys. Number five. All right, so number five, bolt, socket. Take that out. That's the clip that he puts in. He comes in the back. Okay. Tie. Okay. Put it on. All right. So you just pinch it and put it back on. Because sometimes it might not be as pinched correctly. Pinch it. Put it back on. That's two, three. This four all together. So that's for the bottom fairing to go on. Oh, okay, that does make sense. Now, so that's for the bottom fairing. Remember, we pinched four of these right here, and we unscrewed that bolt that came on this side and the thing on the other side. On. That's number 12 that goes on the part where we have the disc brakes. Now remember this has two calipers in the front for the rear uh, from the front disc brake. So you gotta take that off first. You said number 12, right? Yes. Yeah, so that, those are number size 12. So I guess uh, Hey, uh, if you don't mind me asking, what type of uh, tool do they need, do you think? Uh, the, the, so he has this tool right here. 22 and 22. 22? Okay. That's pretty cool. So, if you have like simple home tools, like a set of it, I think you should do it. So, that's the front wheel, guys. Almost about done. See, that's the front axle bolt. 
lifts it up. Okay. Oh, that's the speed sensor. It goes in there. Don't forget to put that in. Boom. Line it up with the hole and just slide it in there. You need that hard. Side. Okay. Oh yeah. Don't forget about the spacer. And that little thing right there that goes in. Boom! It's out. Grab that. Size 22. They're all set. In 22. 22. Hold it on there. Fill it in. Nice and sturdy. Whew. So we're almost about 16 minutes in. The bike. All right, so let's look at the calipers. All right, just gotta take that flat head, open it up a little bit because I not have enough space in there. Place it on the disc to make sure they're opened up so these brake pads are held together. So you gotta make sure you use something like a flathead or something to get them apart. And there you go. That's one side, and we'll be repeating the same thing on this one. So we slide it in there. And what size was that? 12. 12. So the size 12 for the caliper. The front. Yep. It's nice. So... Now we're left with the front mudguard, the number windshield, five. and the back bolt. Okay. So number five, size five. And number ten. And number for, ten. For, that. So for the reflector, it's number ten. So the reflector goes with number ten. And all these sizes, it saves a ton of time so you don't have to like just go back and forth with your tools. Probably comes in a big set, so she's wasting a lot of time just trying out different stuff. But, like size 10 for you guys. So, okay. Let's go get the reflector out, put the fairing in. Yes. Size five for these bolts right here. These type of heads on there. There we go. Fairing. So size ten for the reflectors and size five for the bolt.
done. Nice and sturdy. Boom. Yep. Be good. We're 20 minutes in and the bike's looking really good. About to drop on the bike. Boom. Put that. Oh, yeah. Done with that. Just take that off of there. Alrighty guys, so it looks like for that back part it was just that little screw that needed to be in place and then I think that put the shocks at the right angle. It's already, it's already set up right. So okay, so here's your light sensor that you gotta plug in first. So you find that little pin that goes same through. color. Same, same color, color inside. And yeah, they have like the kind of the same color pattern on the cables. You just gotta locate that there should be one that's not plugged in. There you go. Just gotta plug it in first. Here's that clip. Boom. Wow, that's good. Now, it's just that front part, front little piece, and this looks like a beast. Wow. Can't believe we're almost done with the whole bike. The right tools and the right help, you should be able to assemble this by fairly quick. All right, the placement's really important. Okay, so right there, gotta make sure that's lined up all right. Nice. Be careful now, you don't want to damage the whole plastic piece. Slides in really good because you see this it has to go in there very good. There you go. Now just don't break it. Let's look at the other side. Same thing over here. It's kind of hard to get it in, so I gotta make sure you push it in all the way. Boom, 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 boom. Put it secure. All the way set. Yep. You gotta make sure you're bolts are lining up too because you gotta bolt it down again. Same in the five, yeah. this. Alright, so we go put in number five in there. Five number five in this side. And there goes one. Another one. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Push. Like that. Flat it. Oh, the, the Phillip head right here. Screws that goes in there. To secure it on both sides. Now you just use a regular Phillip head. It's good. It's just two screws in there. From all we're left, I guess, is the mirrors. And then we're gone. Pretty much. That's coming out pretty good. Okay, the mirrors come in a separate box. And it goes right in the front. These are our mirror set. We gotta identify the right side. So the same, number five. So number five, lose this. Yeah, loosen that up a little bit. That's on the mirror already, size five. Just you don't take it out all the way. Just loosen it up a little bit so you can adjust the angle. And once you're able to do that, it's just about a matter of bolting it in there. It's all set. Alright, so mirror's about to get put on, right there, 
that little rubber piece, make sure that's in there. Size five guys, that's it. It's just size five. So now once you have access to this, you know, you just use the size 5 to be able to adjust the mirrors in the future. If you need it angled differently, the base angle, if you need that different, you can use this. So loosen that up, that part, and then you be able to adjust it. It still has some wiggle room to it, but just like this way. So. And that's that. Same thing on this side. Make sure you put that rubber piece in there in between. And put it in. Just make sure you're not tipping it out. And if you're not used to using the drill, you gotta do it very gently. leveled and the bike's done guys under 30 minutes well under 30 minutes we're actually matter of fact closing in right at about 27 minutes there's the owner's menu you just slide it in there and the bike's done let us know in the comments what did you like about the video if you have any questions about assembling this bike please feel free to ask us that question call us at 469-669-1313 and we'll be coming up with another one very shortly thanks for watching like share and subscribe